Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Previously, we tried to get the quest from the Rites so that we could learn about uh, the Sierra Army Depot, but as I did some res well, I did some research, and actually you have to pass a speech check, but unfortunately we're not very good at that, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, we uh, are not this smart usually, so even if we do increase our speech when we get our next level, um, we probably won't be able to get that speech prompt anyway. But the only thing we're going to miss really at the Army Depot is some nice combat armor. However, we don't need it. And right now, uh, we should probably go get some extra fuel for the car, even though we have plenty. We have a bunch of stuff to sell. That's fine. I do plan to go shopping here pretty soon as well before we leave. But because we have these sunglasses, we actually can pick up Sulik. And... Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, what I meant to say before I had a tremendous brain fart was that... Uh... Yeah. No. Yes. Maybe. Um, we had to have high intelligence to find to talk to Wright and to talk to uh, the other guy and to do things to get the car, etc. So, uh, so. So we already found out we're not going to do those things and or we've already done those things. So let's get some fuel. And we'll stop by um, the weapons guy. And we'll go shopping. Yeah. Hey, while we're in the area, why don't we try to become a porn star? Sounds like fun. Hello, good sir. The Corsican brothers at your service. The man glances up irritated and does a double take. Holy Miami! How come you ain't been by earlier? Great fight, by the way. Great fight. What can I do for you? Got any openings I could fill? Hell yes, let's try you out. Hey, give me some extras here. We got us a star in the making. Do as the man directs. Sorry, pal. You're handsome and you're flexible enough. It's just, you ain't got the stamina we need. Work out a little. Maybe we can do some business, okay? I'll try and work on my endurance. Maybe next time. Well, it seems that we didn't fail completely. But, seeing as we only have six endurance, which isn't that bad, uh, we couldn't cut the mustard. So, let's continue. This looks like the weapons store. Welcome, mister. Eldridge is the name. You in the market for some iron to fill that holster of yours? Well, it depends on what you're selling. Here at New Reno Arms, we have the latest personal protection devices needed to stop any yellow-bellied son of a bitch dead in his tracks. Evil smile. You're just the man I was looking for, then. Can I see your regular stock? He has... Uh, I think Vic has an extra set of leather armor. Hey, this is Mark II. I don't know if it's better than Metal Armor Mark II. Although this is something that Sula could use. If we can't find combat armor. He's got a bomb, which is always useful. He's got a variety of ammunition. And he's got this cool revolver that you can also steal from... Uh, that funny talking guy in the den. I forgot his name. Um, He doesn't actually have the things that I want. I wanted to pick up an automatic for Sulik, but he doesn't really have any that I want. So, uh, I guess we came here for no reason at all. But, also, you may know at this location, you can upgrade your weapons, but unfortunately, I don't have any weapons to upgrade right now. Although, Vic, maybe he can put a, like a scope on the hunting rifle? Vic? Vic? 
This is the gun he's using. Well, anyway, I'll take these. He's not going to upgrade the armor, though. He doesn't do that. That wouldn't make sense. Okay. So anyway, if it's the daytime, what you got to do is... Oh, it's locked? Well, how did you know that? You didn't even... Whatever. Uh, quick save. That is quick save, not quick load. Yes. But you can just open this door. Vic gives no fucks. Come in here. Dog will bark, but you don't give, a, give any fucks yourself. And you come down here. And then, since you're down here, you run over to the hidden area over here. Uh, over here. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Right here. And you get the electronic lockpick, which you can use at the toxic caves. I don't know if I need these, but since I can throw, I guess I'll take them. That wasn't food. And you talk to this guy. The slack-jawed young man looks at you with a toothless smile. Stitch on, stitched on his shirt is a small tag that says Algernon in cursive letters. Boom! When he sees your weapons, he starts pointing at them excitedly. Boom! Do you want to see one of these weapons? Well, yes, give him the hunting rifle. Al takes the item and his eyes light up. He tinkers with it for a few minutes, then a few minutes more, then a few more. An hour later, Al hands it back to you with a nod and an evil smile. Boom. <laughs> so I'm just going to give him all these items. I'm going to give him everything. I would cut right now, but for some reason, Shadow Play won't respond while I'm in this dialogue. So, we'll get out of here and probably go meet Sulik. Alright, I lied. I guess it does work in the dialogue. It's just kind of unresponsive. Uh, we stopped here at Renesco's, and we're going to make a, a little sale to get some nice items, like Radex, which we might use at Broken Hills to fix the mine. Um... A super stim pack, some psycho, and some rat away. Although I came here with the intention of getting his money, he actually had some items I wanted. But unfortunately, I said something to him that made him say, Get the f hell out of my shop! So, I hope I didn't screw it. No, he doesn't care. Okay, that's fine. So, on our way. Foolishly selling my uh, power cores here because. Um, I didn't bring enough stuff to trade, and I'm too lazy to walk back to the car. So, that's fine. Is it Vic was completely out of ammo. Okay, well, since we were in the area, I decided to stop at Broken Hills. And I don't really need these in my hands. But, I want to come fix the mine, because I picked some rad X up. I knew Francis couldn't handle exposure. He knew the risks of what he did. But I guess he didn't figure on ever being caught. He'll be all right eventually. I hope the same will be true of Broken Hills. Uh. So uh, the reason why I talked to him is because I thought maybe he'd tell me what to do in the mine. So I don't know what to do in the mine. Oh, but I think Vic is always a little better at repairing stuff than you. But it matters how good you are. I think. I think that's how it works. So I'm going to read my electronics books. So now my skill is 20, which is horrible. And maybe if I use the tool, then it'll be like better than me with a tool. I don't know if that's true. Also, we might maybe should not do this, but I don't know. So I'm going to quick save and then take some rad X and go in there and try to do the thing. And I don't think Vic can take any damage. 
But even if he can, it doesn't matter because I can't tell him to stop. Oh, and there's enemies, so I guess I'm going to do this. Oh, no. I should have uh, shift-clicked. So obviously we have to go back here. And, I mean, this is totally cheap because you should have to fight. No, I don't want to fight. Skip your turn. He just fucked up. Combat's not going to end. I have to fight. Shit. Okay, I guess we're going to fight. Is he really that tough? I don't know. But the feelers can't go... Oh, fuck. Come on, man. Uh, I can still attack you, though. Okay. What hostile creatures? Oh, okay. Yeah, my intention is just to... Really? No, man. They don't have many hit points. I just want to um, run back here, and I don't want to have to deal with a death claw because I have 23 hit points. You know, so if I just run like this, I keep losing my voice. <laughs> then, uh... It doesn't help that I'm drinking milk. <laughs> That's not an appropriate beverage. Oh, Vic took damage. Shit. We better do this fast. I mean, the death claws are really far away. I don't think I'm going to get aggro, and I can probably do this in combat mode. Although, I don't really know what to do. Um, I took damage, too. Oh, God. Okay, so the Radex doesn't matter... Uh, it's not radiation damaging you. It's actually just being here. Now, you don't get a turn. I take all the turns. Damn it. I swear I pressed shift. <laughs> if you keep tapping the key, then... Okay, I pressed control that time. <laughs> So the death claw is like over here somewhere. Um, I don't know where to stand. Oh Jesus, he's right there. Probably right here is where you stand. Okay, and then you just fix it, I think. But it's probably gonna tell me you can't do that during combat. Okay, apparently you have to walk all the way over here. And I died. Rest so. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Um, I guess we'll just go get Sulek and then uh, consider our options. I stumbled across a family of Deathclaws, but we didn't have to fight them because I cheated. Yay. Okay, I hope something isn't glitched because I got back here and my charisma is only three. Now, everyone knows, I know, and you should know if you saw what I did. Uh... My character has had three charisma, but then I got these glasses. So maybe it's just glitched? Maybe I should drop them? Yeah, because now I have three again. So that was the problem. Uh, and I picked up the glasses, and I still have three. Why do I have three? I don't understand. It's a pair of fashionable, deadly-looking mirrored shades. Just having them in your inventory makes you feel cool. What the fuck is going on? I will read more about this. Oh, you have to actually wear them. Check this out. When they're in your inventory, it doesn't do anything. But if you drag it to your slots, look. No item. Mirrored shades. Bonus. Sweet. So, like, we're actually really cool. You just didn't know it. Come with us, dude. Being home is cool, but the place is looking a mite small now. We'd miss the road in the company of so fine a friend as you. Want us to walk by and by again? Uh huh. What you be need? Erg. Hey, do you have uh armor? Cause I have some armor. I thought no I don't. 
He still has 28 gecko skins. Erg. Okay. Well, if we got Sulik again, then I guess we can go to what well, we don't know about uh, San Francisco. I guess we can go to the Toxic Caves now. Uh, I don't think it's a very good idea, but we can go there. Otherwise, I really want to learn about the old military base. And I guess if I didn't learn about it, I would just go there anyway, because I know about it, because I made it to gaming. And <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, if you playing Fallout 2, obviously you probably played Fallout 1, and you would know, like, based on the coastline and everything, that the military base would be somewhere to the southwest. So, anyway, uh, i got to decide where to go, and we'll go there. Move! Get away! Ah! <laughs> they did a shitload of damage when you touch them. Holy crap! It killed me. Omg! Your village is lost. I should have known better. Doomed. Okay, well, I didn't save my game for a while, and to be honest, I'm kind of annoyed right now. So I'm gonna call. Continue as though nothing bad happened at all. Okay, well, seeing as we only have one pair of boots left, I used them, and they wore out. Um, Vic's armor is good enough that he's not actually taking any damage. I'm not worried about him. I might grow an extra toe, but that doesn't really matter because we're not getting into Vault City anyway. Um, and uh, Sulik actually took a ton of damage, and he's severely wounded, but I don't think you can actually sleep in this place. Oh, yeah, you can. Well, that's convenient. Hey, everyone, get out of the goop. And since we killed all the enemies, let's just sleep until we're feeling better. I wasted a stim pack, even. Oops! Alright, so before you can open this door, you actually have to go in here and repair this generator. Which is... Um... This entire thing, both these tiles, but I clicked on this one. And that works. You can use the tool to give you a bonus. And if you happen to have a super tool kit, you can use that. It gives you a huge bonus to repair. So then... You have to have the electronic lockpick to open this door, I believe. But, I screwed up. I don't think it's possible to jam electronic locks. And I hope this is possible. Electronic lockpick gives you a huge bonus to your lockpick skill. And my lockpick skill isn't terrible. But, it seems like... <laughs> I need to read tumblers today. Damn it! Well, maybe we can kill some Wanamingos for XP. I came back here, but unfortunately, I'm really stupid. So I don't know if I'll be able to get the speech dialogue option. You should try the slots, Tribal. Heap good magic there. No, I suppose uh, I can't. I have some Mentats, but uh, I don't care about money that much. It's easy enough to get. And... Hopefully the bad guys will be there anyway. So let's just go into the mine and kill everything. Assuming that they actually spawned, even though we didn't start the quest for it. I mean, it would make sense that they would already be there, right? And if I got the thing, then I could give it to the lady. Yeah. So there's a bunch of ways to get down there. And... The most direct way is to go to the place to the west, but you can go down there any any which way. It doesn't really matter. You can go everywhere from any entrance. So, can I go here? Yes, I can! And it's full of mole rats and maybe some other enemies, but these are just mole rats. Oh, look, yes, they are here. So, we'll get to them in a minute. Let me clear out this trash first. Okay, time to get busy. Quick save. Why do I have to confirm it again? It should have a dedicated slot, honestly. Okay, um, I initiated combat. I didn't need to. I'm probably not going to be able to sneak up on them. They're really clustered together pretty effectively. And they've got initiative because I got too close. And he kicked the shit out of me. Um, as usual, I'm going to go for the eyes. 
but he slid back here. Uh, he was critically hit in the eyes for 21 points, damaging its air intake. And uh, stop moving so I can kick your ass more effectively, please. I gave Vic the scoped hunting rifle and a whole bunch of ammo that I scrounged up from various vendors on the way here. Sulek could use a better weapon, but I just don't have one to give him right now. I want to give him an SMG. We have plenty of 10mm ammo. If we could just find it one. Stop getting hit, dude. <laughs> Honestly, this thing will be easier to kill while it's on the ground. But the question is, where is it? Is it actually... Yes, okay, so what happened here is that I hit it, and I did the animation where it slid away, but it couldn't slide away because it slid into a place where you're not allowed to walk. So even though it looks like it slid back here, it's actually right here. So I can still hit it. I can hit the shit out of it. But I didn't manage to kill it. So like you're kind of on your own. Vic, can you take the shot? Flanking action. One of the advantages of hand-to-hand -hand combat over melee is that the enemies tend to not slide away as badly, but they still can slide away a little bit. And I believe we... We didn't kill it. Uh, so look, I need to get in there. Dude, I missed. So they're pretty tough. Vic, it'd be okay if you attacked. Dude. No last hits for me. Good job, Silic. It finally died. We got a little bit of XP. So there should be more of these on a different screen. Right now, from where we entered, uh, the mine looks like this. And we can go that way. And we can also go this way. But I think we'll go this way first. So I'll meet you on the next screen. There's more of them here. Also, it sounds like there's some rats, but I haven't run into them yet. Yeah, if you d do get the quest to uh, clear out the mine, it's not actually necessary to kill the rats. But I do think you have to kill all the Wanamingos. Mm. Guys, it'd be okay if you like came with me here. <laughs> oh yeah that's what I like we only did 23 damage but we critically rolled so good it died instantly better criticals and that got the attention of the other one if Sulek had a ripper or something he would be so effective Stay with me, buddy. I don't want to use all my AP chasing after you. Vic, why aren't you attacking, dude? <laughs> it's like... Smashing a watermelon. There's a whole mess of them on this screen. We went the opposite way from the way that I pointed out uh, the first time. And I actually want to not run around in circles, but since they like to slide so much, I decided to hit it like this so it would slide toward my guys. Vic, 
If you're gonna do that, I'm gonna take your damn melee weapon away. Maybe the scoped rifle is like so uh, inaccurate at close range that he's not using it for that reason. I don't know. Yeah, come get me with my 45 AC. Good luck hitting me. It's going to be really nasty when I get some power armor. I almost wish I had gotten kamikaze, kamikaze, but I like my AC where it's at. Oops, I meant to do a targeted attack, but that was a good one. Nonetheless, unfortunately, I used almost all of my AP, but it didn't matter. Next. Oh, hey, a level. One thing I want to do this level is to improve my lockpicking skill. But I'd also like to improve my unarmed skill. I think it's a uh, 12. You get 1 12th of your unarmed skill as a bonus AC. So if it's a multiple of 12, then it'll make a difference. So for example, uh, 120, 240, or 240 minus 12, which is 228. So I want to have 228 at least. I really want 228. Okay. We'll do that then. Where is the next one? Well, yeah. Okay. It would be more convenient if you guys would just die quickly. I think I heard him get his gun out. Are they all coming for us? Hey, that kind of hurt. You'll pay for that. Eventually. Jeez. I'm sort of concerned by Vic's inaction. He should have a good chance at this one. I'll leave him to it. Yeah, he's shooting. Maybe he does need some range. But that's fine. Maybe I should tell him to keep his distance. Although now I'm so stupid I don't think I'll be able to. doing a good job. He has a good gun. There are better ones, though. I think he's actually more capable with energy weapons than he is with small guns. I'm moving in. Uh... Yeah, this is working out nicely. We're tag teaming. Oh, but he's not here? Then he must be up here? Uh, if I can't walk there, then he must... Yeah. It's kind of glitchy. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Vic. You did a thing. He's worth a ton of XP, which is great. Oh, he's not dead. But he's scared. I don't think he's got uh, aggro on Vic. Oops. Got aggro on Vic there. Hee <laughs> hee! What a great animation. There was some dynamite in this desk. But I don't see any more of those things. 
So we'll go downstairs. Um, there might be another way to get downstairs without taking this elevator, but uh, I'm not sure how. But I guess I'll save my game just in case. Does it not work? Is there a lever? Did I push it? Did we change floors, but it just looks exactly the same? Use the elevator. Well, the way these things usually work is if you walk into it, it'll be like, which floor do you want to go to? But it's not doing that. So I need to go find a ladder somewhere. There's a ladder right here. And a whole bunch more enemies. And one strangely different looking enemy. We'll find out about these guys in the next episode. See you there, everyone. Bye-bye.